shoot. Rodeo's just going to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> Rodeo used to be something. I loved it, I did. Once, Daddy and a bunch of them was fooled around with some old bronc over to our place. This old red nose named Cinch got bucked off. My daddy hooted, said he had him a nine-year-old girl. Namely me, wouldn't have no damn trouble cowboying that horse. Well, he put me on up there, stuck that riding rein in my hand, give me a kiss and said, Now there's only one thing to remember, honey love. You fall off, you just don't come home. <laughs> Stayed up. You gotta stay on a bronc eight seconds. Otherwise, ride don't count. So from that day on, my daddy called me Big A. Yeah, it's all the name I got anymore. Big A. Used to be for cowboys, the rodeo did. Do it in some open field. Folks would pull their cars and pickups around it. Sit on the hoods. Some old ranch hand bulldog him a few rank steer and everybody wave their hats and call him by name. Ride us some bucking stock. Rope us a few calves, get thrown off a bull, and we just get ourselves to a bar and tell each other lies about how good we were. <laughs> Used to be a family thing. Wooly Billy Tilson and Tammy Lee had them five kids on the circuit. Three boys, two girls, and Wooly and Tammy. Wasn't no two-beer rodeo in Oklahoma didn't have a Tilson in her. Used to call the oldest girl Chesty. <laughs> Chesty Tilson. Ain't never seen a girl so top heavy could ride so well. <laughs> they said she only fell off when the gravity got her. <laughs> Cowboys used to say, she landed face down, you could plant two young trees in the whole tree. <laughs> People came to a rodeo, had a horse of their own back home. <coughs> Farm people, ranch people. Or well, they knew what they were looking at. They knew a good ride from a bad ride. They knew hard from easy. You broke a few bones or spent the day eating dirt, at least you got appreciated. <laughs> now they bought the rodeo. Them. Coca Cola, Pepsi Cola, Marlboro, damn cigarettes. You know the ones I mean. Them. Hire some New York pretty boys and on a stuck horse out front of Sagebush Photo and smoke that junk. Hell, tobacco wasn't made of smoke, honey, it was made of chew. <laughs> Weren't one to fill up with smoke, he would have set you on fire. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> some guy in a banker suit runs the rodeo now. Got him a pinky ring and a smart watch, honey. Told us we ought to have a, whatchamacallit, a Choreographus or something? Some old sissy boy used to be with the ice damn capades. <laughs> told us we ought to ride around dressed up like Mickey Mouse, Pluto, crap like that. <laughs> told me that I had to haul my butt through the barrel race, done up like many damn mouse in a tutu. Uh-uh, honey. <laughs> Them people so screwed up. They probably eat what they run over in the road. <laughs> Listen, they got the clowns wearing astronaut suits. I am lying. Do you know what a rodeo clown does? Well, you go down, fall off whatever, the clown runs right in front of the bull so you don't get stopped. Well, not pet straps. He has them wearing space suits telling jokes into a microphone. First horse song, done up like the Star Wars went crazy. <laughs> Best bucking horse on the circuit. Name of piss and vinegar. Took one look at those clowns. Had him a heart attack and died. <laughs> Cowboy that was riding him got himself squashed. 1,200 pounds of coronary rest just fell right through him. Blam! B.O. con Dios. <laughs> you know what? The crowd thought that was funnier than the astronauts. I swear, it won't be long before we're strapping ice skates on the ponies. <laughs> Big crowds now. I hardly know more ranch people. Farm people, nobody I know. Just a bunch of disco babies and divorce lawyers. <laughs> Designer jeans and day glow steps and hell, 
The whole bunch of them wears French perfume. <laughs> it smells like money now. Got it on the cable T and B. Well, you know what? When you rodeo, you're just bound to kick yourself up some dust. But apparently, that messes with the old TV camera. So they told us a while back, we were going to be riding on some new stuff called Astro Dirt. <laughs> dust free. Artificial damp dirt, honey. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Banker Suit called me into his office the other day, said, Lurling. Hold up, I said, who's this Lurling? Round here, everybody just calls me Big A. Well, Big A, he said, my name's Wallace. Well, that's a surprise to me, I said, because around here everybody just calls you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he laughed real big. Slapped that big old desk of his, and then he told me that I wasn't suitable for the rodeo no more. Said he was looking for something of a different type, more in the showgirl line, like the Dallas Cowgirls, maybe. <laughs> Said the riding and the roping wasn't the thing no more. Kept talking on about floats, costumes, dancing choreography. If I was a man, I would have pissed on his shoe. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Rodeo used to be people riding horses for the pleasure of people who rode horses. Made you feel good about what you could do. Rodeo wasn't worth no money to nobody help. Money didn't have a thing to do with it. Used to be seven Tilsons riding in the rodeo. Wouldn't none of them dress up like Donald damn duck so they quit. That there. The long grass. You see, there's a bunch of assholes in this country. <laughs> Sneak around until they see you having fun. And they buy that fun and start and selling it. See, they figure if you love it, they can sell it. You look out, honey. They're just looking to make them a dollar off of what you love. Sell your rodeo. Dress you up like Minnie Mouse. Turn your pleasure into the ice damn capades. You know what I'm saying? You're just merchandise to them, sweetie. Just merchandise to them. <laughs>